everyone, it's Stella and today we are back with another video! Today's video is a Korean makeup tutorial and I'm going to show you guys what I have learned from watching like millions of Korean makeup tutorials because I love and I've been really interested with Korean makeup because they make your skin look so good even if you're having breakouts or whatsoever. Black pink in your area. But you can guarantee that you're going to be in black pink level Try nothing, okay? Try nothing. So one thing that you really have to remember when it comes to Korean makeup, you have to have a really strong and solid skincare routine because they stay committed to their skincare routine and that's why their makeup looks the way that it looks. Yeah, I have already done my skincare routine video. I'm going to link that down below and up there so you can watch that before watching this video. But if you already did, then we are going to proceed to our next step. Okay, so that is it for my sunscreen. You see that I've instantly gotten brighter. It's not to the point that it looks oily, but then it does look bling bling. Now we are going to proceed with my cushion foundation. I use this one from Face Shop. It's the Natural Story Miracle Finish Long Lasting CC Foundation. I think what I've noticed with cushion foundations from Korea, they really have this brightening effect. And I think it really caters to the Korean standards of having, no offense, but bright skin. So my skin is now Pajak Palta. That means shining. I'm a shining so low. So now we are going to proceed with my eyes. Because this is one of the key points then ng mga Korean makeup in general. For this eye makeup, I'm going to proceed with my LA Girl Nudes Palette, their eyeshadow collection. For Korean makeups, I think they focus more on really pastel colors and they don't really do like really dark, smoky eyes unless they're doing a performance like Blackpink on stage. For my lids, I'm just going to use this pink almost blush shade. And then for my outer lids, I'm going to use a darker shade. I'm also going to put that under my eyes. Now I'm using a glittery white shade on my inner lids, also under my eyes. Of course, it's a Korean makeup look, we can't forget about the eyeliner. So I'm just using my Essence eyeliner here. Curling my lashes, of course, to prepare it for my mascara. I'm using my Hyper Curl Mascara from Maybelline. I've said in my last video that I don't use eyelash curler because it's so good, talaga niya, but then you use painful. So I'm using it. Actually, I got that in Divisoria. I will do a Divisoria haul for you guys in my next videos. Probably I have to cut that into two videos because it's so much that I can use as in like. So now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm going to proceed to my favorite step, my blush. So Korean makeup, as I said a while ago, they're more on the cutesy type and all that. They don't really put too dark of blush, but then they're focused on more like a kinikilig type of blush. So I'm going to use the Celtic Derma Cosmetics Blush and Face Contour Kit. Okay, so I'm just going to put it on the apple of my cheeks and then blend it out upwards. <laughs> I just came back from putting on my contact lenses. Oh my god, they hurt so much. But then for this tutorial, I really had to put, I knew I had to put it. So now I'm going to proceed with my lip product. I'm using this Human Nature Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Island Kiss. Oh, 
everyone, it's Jala from the future. I am currently editing this video and I realized that I didn't have an outro once again. Mm. So I just would like to say that if you like this video, please click the like button below. Comment down below what video you think I should do next. And please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell button too so you'll be updated every time I post. Again, it has been Jala. Bye! Thank you.